Uh, Yi Yi, would you try? Sure. Uh, I guess I will want to maintain my age as um sixty five. <laughs> uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think that would be a beautiful age where mostly, hopefully, I'll be able to get retired with financial freedom by sixty five. I guess I can. Where I still have the energy and the stamina, you know, to travel around the world. So yeah, you get to enjoy the fruit that you have been, you know, you've been working so hard for, you know, most of the time in your life, and this the time where you get to really enjoy your life, you know, and just walk around and explore the world. So I guess I will want to maintain at the age of sixty five, which I think is a beautiful age. That's nice. Thank you, Yi. How about others? Like、uh, Yi, you choose one person. Okay, let me choose. Um, I think I saw the name of Nicole. Our timer. Hello. I、Hi、think、Nicole. the age that I would prefer is my current age. So maybe it's because I have my own financial. I mean, I can support myself with my current work. And I have the energy to enjoy whatever life gives it to me, so I think this is the best age, and I hope it stays here forever. Back to you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. A really interesting video. Ah,、uh, video sharing. Then let's go to the next session. I would like to give some、uh, briefing on house rules. Okay, dear all, please put your phone on silent mode, and mute your microphone when you are not. Speaking. Speaking. Then, pin the video of the timer when you speak. Uh, it's it is recommended do not uh speak on the sensitive topics. Please show your face, and there is no eating and biting nails recommended. Okay. Uh, as you know, our mission of Toast Master Club is to provide mutual supportive. And positive le environment, positive learning environment in which every individual member has the opportunity to develop oral communication and leadership skills, in which turn the foster self confidence and personal growth. Okay, our theme today is control, alt, and delete. Okay, as everyone knows, these three keys are foundly uh, found, can be found at the computer keyboard. Uh, held on simultaneously in order to、uh, close an application which is not responding or hang hanging,、uh, in and also to reboot your computer. So in our real life, we also can use this theory to come out from any problems, any any situation that give you tension, anger, anything. So. You you have to first of all, when you find things that cannot control, first of all, what you need to do is you have to, you have to control yourself. Don't react to the situation. Try to respond to the situation. So as a response, it's an alternative. Look for the alternative solution. How you can how you can respond to the situation, the problem, the challenges. Then finally. You have to delete the situation that give you tension and negative energy. This is how you can reach your goals and dream. Okay. In another things, I give you an example of the cup. Okay, so cup or glass, whatever you like, lah. When you hold a cup for a minutes, okay, you found no problem with your arm, with your hands. But when you ask you to hold for a, hold a cup for a one hour, you feel pain. When you ask to hold the cup for one day, you might feel numb at your hand, numb at your hand, and finally get paralyzed. So that the cup showing is、uh, the is example or is an example of a problem challenge.、Uh, is an example of problem, fear, disappointment, all the negative, negative things. So don't hold it. Try to try to、uh, eliminate it. And then try to come up,、uh, come up faster from it, and then try to move on to the next level so that you can achieve your dream faster. So I would like to、uh, 
uh, hand control over uh, the, our club president Juan. Uh, as everyone knows, Juan is the club president uh, and working as a lecturer. But his passion and profession is to help athletes develop mental skills. His passion is in sports psychology. Let's welcome our club president. Big, big, big round of applause. Thank you so much, Assistant Sergeant at Arm, Roshni. So first of all, let me welcome all of you here. Doesn't matter whether you are Toastmasters or non-Toastmasters, I welcome you. Thank you for joining us tonight. And first, let me, let me thank you again for your time. And I hope you enjoy this meeting. For my presidential speech, uh, I am so stressed today. How many of you hear this sentence more than 10 times in your life? Please raise up your hand. So this is a very common sentence everybody says. Now stress is something everybody has and it is unavoidable. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you a very nice way to deal with your stress. And this way is our team. Control, alternate, delete. So the thing today is I would control, alternate, and delete. In computer language, it means opening a task manager. In human language, it doesn't mean anything. But let me unpack it for you and make it meaningful for you. Again, stress is inevitable. Every one of us here experience stress. So control, alternate, and delete is the three steps thing that you can help yourself manage stress. Step one, control. When in stress, control what you can. Roshni already stole my, stole my script just now, so you have a better, you have a clear picture already. So when in stress, control what you can. One easiest example is control your breathing. When you control your breathing, Breathe slowly, it will calm you down. Don't believe me? Try it out now. So let's try it. Breathe five times very quickly. And then take two very slow breaths. You will notice a very significant difference between your, your mental states as you take fast breath and slow breath. So that is the, the very simple thing that you can control, your breathing. Second one, alternate. After keeping yourself under control, alternate your thoughts. Change the negative thoughts to positive thoughts. Say things that you want, not what you don't want. Because our mind only pick up things, pick up keywords. Let's do an experiment. Follow my instruction very clearly. I want you to don't think of a purple tiger. Then don't think of a blue dolphin and stop thinking about a yellow bear. So the three things that I ask you to don't think, I'm sure that's at least one thing that comes up to your mind. So I said don't think, why did you think that? Because our brain cannot filter out the don't. When you say purple, purple dolphin, a blue elephant, it pops up automatically. So imagine this, if you say I don't want to make mistakes, what comes up to your mind? Exactly. So after you alternate your thoughts, change the negative to positive. Instead of don't make mistakes, I want to perfect. I want to perfect progress. So third step is to delete. After alternating your thoughts, delete the negative ones and move on so that you can focus on the present moment. Now, as Toastmasters Roshni introduced me earlier, my passion is to train athletes' mental skills. And since the Olymp Olympic fire is still burning recently, let me share with you a situation where control, alternate, and delete can be very useful. All of you know that Malaysia's, one of Malaysia's famous sports is badminton. It is pressured enough to compete in the world stage. But sometimes when athletes see their opponents is winning so many points ahead, they need something to stop themselves. So at this moment, control your breathing, alternate your thoughts, 
and delete. It's useful for them to stop, switch, and focus. So I give you one example. How about you try control, alternate, delete during the table topic session later. So remember, mental skills need practice. With practice, it became automatic. And later, you have a chance to practice. With that, I will pass my control over to Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Okay. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, guests, ladies, and gentlemen. Welcome to Toastmasters meeting number 363. It is my pleasure to be your Toastmasters of the evening. Before we go into the actual agenda, let me share you our club's members' educational pathways. Progress. As you can see, this is our members' education progress. The red one means completed, and the blue one is today's speech. I would now like to share you a video of a brief history of Toastmasters International. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Toastmasters. My name is Juan, and I'm about to tell you what is Toastmasters. The Toastmasters is a non-profit organization. The first Toastmasters was started in 1924. Where is it placed? The first Toastmasters was in um, Santa Ana, California, in YMCA. So after that, after a very long time until today, Toastmasters has grown so much. How much has it grown? At this present moment, there are around 295,000 members. Can you imagine that? 295. And there are around 17,000 clubs worldwide in 152 countries. So in, our, in this Toastmasters, our club, our club name is Flank Bilingual Toastmasters Club. We are under Area C5, Division C, and District 102. What is area, district, and division? So area and area consists of four to five clubs, and four to five areas consists of one division, and from a few division, found a district. Now Malaysia is in district 102. So let me share with you what is the mission of those masters. Toastmasters Club mission is to provide mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every member has the opportunity to develop communication and leadership skills. And this will help people develop their self-confidence and their personal growth. So let me talk about our club a little bit. Before that, let me share with you there are different pathways at here, there are 11 different pathways for you to learn more about this model. So you can learn about leadership, communicating, and even presenting. So if you like to learn more, contact us, contact our school members, and we will guide you more. The Clan Bilingual Toastmasters Club, our club was first established in 2005. This year is our 16th anniversary, and the and it is the first bilingual Toastmasters club in the whole clan Valley. Can you imagine that? That's how great they are. So our vision of the club is we learn, we speak, and we lead. We normally conduct our meeting in English, but Mandarin does come into picture during table topics and prepare speech sessions. So the best benefit that members can get in clan bilingual Toastmasters club is members can learn both languages and improve themselves too. So with that, I really look forward to having you in our club and I look forward to communicate and learn from you. Thank you for listening and see you. Enjoy the meeting. Okay, 
Okay, so that is the history of Klang Bilingual Toastmasters Club. Let's move on to our agenda for this evening. We have three sessions today. The first session is our table topic session. Members who are not playing any role this evening is strongly urged to not miss this opportunity. And then the second is prepared speech session whereby members will deliver their speech assignments. The third session is the feedback session, which we call the evaluation session. Evaluations are breakfast for champions and our evaluators will give an honest, encouraging and constructive feedback to speakers. They will point the speaker towards method of improvement and strive to have the speaker look forward to his or her next speech. Now, may I have our beloved role players to explain their role, please? Let's start with the grammarian Toastmasters Angie. The floor is yours. Member of the Toastmaster, I am Angie, grammarian today. My role is to bring a good view of the language and to point out the grammatical error during the meeting. And the word of the day is persistent. In Chinese mean jianche. The meaning of the word is the fact someone or something persistent. Moren Hey, I yeah, I think she, her lines actually drop off. Mm. And maybe we should go to the next one first. Now let's welcome Toastmasters Kang Hui as the R counter for today's meeting. Good evening, everyone. During the meeting, I will listen and count for words or phrases that may be used inappropriately or unnecessary, such as uh, and, well, but, so, and you know. Sounds may include ah, uh, um, and er. Uh. I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or phrase, such as I, I, or this means, this means. At the end of the meeting, I will report the number of times that each speaker used the necessary, unnecessary words and sound. So back to you, uh, Toastmaster Natalie. Thank you, Toastmaster Kang Hui. Now, may I have our beloved role player, Toastmasters Nicole Wan from Shankly Toastmasters Club as the timer of tonight. Thank you, Natalie. The purpose of timekeeping is to ensure that each meeting runs according to agenda, in particular, the table topic session, prepared speeches, and evaluation session. Back to you. Thank you. All right, now let's move on to the general evaluator to explain her role for tonight. Welcome, Yi from Elite Toastmasters Club. Thank you so much, Natalie. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Yi Yi, the general evaluator for the meeting today. So my role as a GE is to provide um, some feedbacks and evaluations to all the evaluators as well as all the listening role and to conduct the second half of the meeting. So back to you, Natalie. Thank you. Now, it is now Think on your feet session. And we have Toastmasters Alex to lead us for the table topic session. Please give a round of applause to welcome Toastmasters Alex. Hi, thank you, Toastmaster Natalie. Clap, clap, please. Good evening, Club President, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Right now, we are going to have 
the opportunity to participate in one of the most interesting and exciting portions of Toastmaster meeting, which is the table topic sessions. Now, let me explain the purpose of table topics is to have members and guests to practice impromptu thinking and speaking on their feet. The skill of speaking on your feet will help you throughout your careers and also will be very valuable in your home life as well. To help you practice today, I have prepared a few topics that hopefully will help you to meet this goal. The table topics, the table topics are fairly short. The presentation should last from one to two minutes. At one minute, the timer will show the green light. At one and a half minutes, the timer will show the yellow light. At two minutes, the timer will show the red light. After you see the red light, you have another 30 seconds to begin to finish your talk. It is very important to remember that once you see the yellow light or the amber light, you have met your goal and you can start to end your talk. Without further ado, now who wants to be the first volunteer? Allow me to share my screen. I take one. <laughs> Sorry? I don't mind to be first. All right. Our Toastmaster guest, Aizad. So Aizad, I have six numbers here. Yeah, so go ahead and choose one. Four. Number four. Let's see. Do we need a reboot in our life? Toastmaster Aizad, do we need a reboot in our life? Over to you. Um, wait a minute. Let me pin the timer. Wait the timer. Sorry. Ah, never mind. How? Jintian, you the Hui Jiang Shuo, 我一天下载一个MP3 你才一载是因为在水中你不能学习汉语吗好后来我用APP学习汉语 你的汉语很标准，你的汉语这么好，还有不是真的。好，所以我对近视的研究我的汉语是有不太多，但是我可以，如果你坚持啊，学习语言，坚持你要什么，你肯定获得啊，你你要什么？好，谢谢。好的,谢谢Aizer的分享,那也希望你的汉语越来越精彩,不要放弃, to be persistent, alright? Now, let me go back to my screen, who would like to be the next volunteer to try it out? I'll go, Alex. Alright, Malati, I have, can choose a bigger number? I'll choose five. Five. Number five, Malati, how do you overcome challenges 
in life. How do you overcome challenges in life? Malati, over to you. Right. Challenges is something all of us, we go through, regardless of the age. So if you're talking to someone who is a small kid, the small kid challenges would be different. So likewise, the challenge, I also went through a challenging week last week. We're having to hear or come across people who are close to me uh, going through a situation where they were impacted because of COVID. How I overcome that challenges is be, by being in the now, especially when someone is falling sick and COVID is definitely not under control at all. And I started asking myself, how, what can I do? Is where I got the answer is be in the now, as in uh, be there for them, support them, go the extent of wanting to help them, and especially being a human being at that point of time, it's very, very important. Empathize. And by me being there for them, I could see that I was not able to solve everything. But at the same time, I know that they knew that I was there to support them and they felt a bit more comfort. So that's how I would overcome my challenge all the time. It's very important, like what Joanne mentioned, that look at the positive and my positive view at that point of time was like, what can I do? And it was very important that I put aside thinking more what's next and be in the present and do whatever that I should be doing it. And how I feel this week, it's much, much more better. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Malati. Thank you for the story. Hope that the people around you have a speedy recovery. All right, next person. Can we invite our guest, perhaps? Do you have a guest here? Anyone? I see Marcus Yu. Marcus, would you like to try? Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. Number six. Number six. Let me choose. Number six. Control, alternate, delete the things in life that are not responding. Marcus, control, alternate, delete the things in life that are not responding. Over to you. Control, delete. The things is not responding to life. I think would be fear. So most of it, uh, fear is took up most of our efforts and our time. Because fear will eventually drag you from what you need to be achieved in your life. Uh, although, uh, even though I, the purpose I'm coming to Toastmaster is to looking for clubs that I can enhance my speaking, uh, public speaking uh, technique and also the stage fears. So uh, I think this is the thing that we I, I try to get rid from it uh, for this year. Like, it's uh, actually a purpose of, of uh, my target for this year to overcome these uh, fears. So that's my sharing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marcus. Thank you. So I'm sure you will be able to achieve your goal and overcome your fear. Persistency is all we need, isn't it? All right. We have three more numbers. Who would like to be the next volunteer? Alex, I want to try in Mandarin. <laughs> Who? Miss Kelly Chu. Okay. Miss Kelly, pick away. Number one. <clears throat> Number one. Ding, 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 ding. How do you control your emotion? Kelly, how do you control your emotion? Over to you. Rohakongzu 
从三岁到十二岁的小朋友，<咳>他们有有一些学生呢是没有办法控制自己的情绪的，所以他上课的时候，如果他不高兴，或者是他觉得他做的不好，他跟不上老师教的东西，他就会乱画，在上美术课的时候就会乱乱涂鸦、乱画，他就没有耐心啊、呃，好好的画，有些甚至会哭，直接流眼泪，或者是把自己的图画纸撕烂。所以呢，我在教这个美术课的时候呢，是遇到很多这样子的情况的。但是呢，我身为一个老师呢，我是不会告诉他们不要哭，不要哭。我我的方式是把他们带去另外一个角落，就是不影响其他学生上课，带把他们带去另外一个角落，然后告诉他们啊，你可以在这里先冷静一下，就是如果你想哭，你那那你就哭，哭完了你洗了脸，你才进来上课。所以呢，我们常常说我们是要控制自己的情绪，其实我觉得更适当的是如何发啊、呃、发泄情绪，所以你才不会造成有心病，不会造成忧郁症。我觉得我们的观念是有一点点社会观念与呃，就是教导小朋友的那个方式呢，其实有点落差。小朋友是没有办法很有很很有。要的控制自己的情绪，所以呢，比较适当的是让他们发泄后，再告诉他们啊、呃，或者是可能下一次他可以怎么做，或者是可以直接问他，哎，发生什么事情，然后你可以解释给他听。那这个东西其实不是很严重，那你下次遇遇到这样的事情的话呢，你就可以啊、呃，心平气和面对，就你不要当下告诉他不可以这样，不可以那样，然后阻阻止他去发泄他的自己的那个啊负面的情绪。好的，谢谢。Back to Alex， 谢谢 Kelly 的分享。身为一个老师，责任重大，也很感谢你为学生辅导啊。好的，现在我们还有两个号码 ，Two more numbers left. Who would like to be the next volunteer? Oh, MJ. Sorry, I forgot. MJ will be the next one. Okay, MJ, pick your number. Uh, number two. Number two. MJ, how do you delete negativity? How do you delete negativity? MJ, over to you. How do you delete negativity? For me, a negativity is something in life that you might have every day. If you are facing some difficulty in life, you might feel negative. Okay, for me, negativity is when there's a lot of things to juggle around, and I will feel stressed out, and I will be kind of negative to be honest. Although I'm look kind of happy go lucky <laughs> for my appearance, I will tend to nag and nag and uh try to express my negativity when I try to finish all the necessary things. For example, uh. Trying to do the agenda, which is required for this VP role, every week try to get the role players and see who's available, who's not available to plan everything. Text all the role players, their script, make sure everything is、uh, in line. Although I'm still learning, although I might not do very well, I'm trying to uh, I'm on the way lah, still learning. And thanks to of course my friend Jen who's. Always guiding me and helping me. And how do I deal with negativity? First, I will try to solve my problem. So to get rid of the negativity, control, alternate, and delete. If I'm not able to do it, I will temporarily ignore it. I will go to play games, eat some ice cream, or even take a nap, sleep, and ignore it. And until the next day when I'm am. Physically and mentally ready, I will challenge myself to face this problem once again. And finally, when I finish this, I will get rid of this negativity, which is delete the negativity in life, and live happily <laughs> ever after, and enjoy my meeting with my fellow Toastmasters like now. So that's all from my sharing. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster of the evening, Alex. Thank you very much, MJ. Yes, 
ignoring, being present, just let it down and everything is going to be okay again. So right now we have the one last number. Anyone want to nominate anyone to participate? Can I nominate one guest? Yes, please, cool. I would like to nominate my friend Chewy. Chewy. Yeah, because of her. So today I'm here. Okay. So Chewy, you only have one number left. All right. Are you ready? So Chewy, are you ready? Are you on the line? Then they won't mind. No responding. Okay, you can pick again. One more person. Can I have a try? Yes. Okay, so we have Jesse. Hi, Jesse. So you have one last number left, which is how do you alternate between career and personal life? How do you alternate between career and personal life? Over can to I, you. Can I try in Mandarin? Definitely. Please do. 会长, 各位会友, 大家晚上好, 我是如何在我的人生中, 然后去平衡我的这个职业跟我的生活, 其实在我的理念里面, 我常常会在我的工作，然后呢，知道在工作需要完成的任务的时候，我就会卯足我的所有的精力，还有就是专注力，然后去完成，不管是上司交代的，还是我要在短期或者是长期目标要完成的，然后下了班，星期六、星期天
Hope to see you guys for more inspiring speech. Return the meeting back to you, Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie. Thank you. Well done, Toastmasters Alex, for the wonderful top table topic session. I'm sure all of you enjoyed today's first session, right? As I really enjoyed it. This is my first time experiencing Clang Bilingual Toastmasters Club table topic session that has more than one Mandarin. Three. Today we have three speakers that spoke in Mandarin. Wow, it is so amazing. Now, this concludes the first half of our today's session. And we shall break for group photo. Group photo? No, not, not break yet. Today's agenda is a little bit different. So we can straight continue to the next session. Oh, okay, sure which is the prepared speech session. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to lend your ears to the much awaited session, the project speeches? Our first speaker for tonight is Vasanti, who will be delivering her innovative planning level one project two. When I asked Vasanti about herself, she said, she loves public speaking so much, very much. She is a trainer and life coach by profession. And her hobbies currently is cooking and eating. I mean, come on, who doesn't love eating? I love eating, but I don't love cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Toastmasters Vasanti. Vasanti, two enemies. To enemies, Basanti, the stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the evening. Receive. A lot that occupy a lot of space in our device. What do we do later? We go to the gallery, select, sometimes select all, delete. Our brain, just similar to our device. Our memories, Imaginations are our two enemies. How to delete them? If we don't, they will damage our brain. Have you deleted and made your devices free? If yes, how about your brain? Good evening, Toastmaster of the day, distinguished guests, fellow guests, and Toastmasters. It had just stopped raining, but still drizzling. The breeze wafted through the trees and reached his hands and face. The frogs croak for its moment. He was looking at the water droplets dripping down from the roof. His memory and the situation, everything is just wet. He was thinking about the time he spent together with his wife on a vacation. His eyes became like the three gorgeous dam about to burst. He looked back. His wife was looking for something in the empty kitchen cabinet. Tears overflow. What am I going to do? How am I going to feed my family? He was one of 
the citizen of the world who lost his income due to this pandemic. His imagination, his memory kills him. Just by crying, what can happen? If we want to get rid of all these sufferings, as you said in the theme, we need to delete, control, alternate, delete the memories. How it is possible? First, if we want to delete our memory, we have to stop being emotional, being too exaggerated about anything, too much of excitement and overwhelming. All these emotional biases are outcome, can feed the memory and we will store or download that in our subconscious mind. Time to time, it will pop up. Then we suffer. So to avoid that, whenever that pop-up comes out, instruct your brain, stop that, focus on the now, the current situation. Just do it, keep doing it. That is the only way. And for example, imagine that there is an amok and you are among that one. You are standing in the middle of that situation. Will you go along the amok or you stop there and you look back? If we look back at the mob, they will run over us. Eventually we will die. So it is better for us to run, to, run together with them. Memories are just like that a mock. If we stop and look back, it will run over us, kill us completely. That is the reason why do not let our brain to think about the memories. Always instruct the brain to be at the present. How about the imagination? Imagination is another thing. It is like the old software, which was created in 1990s. And we're still having it in our computer. Why? Do you think it is usable? Just delete everything. When we have our imagination, the first thing what come to our mind, you know? When we have a little bit of challenge, good or bad, both are inevitable. But when we have that, our brain will start to say, what if that earthquake come to Malaysia? What if that flood come to Malaysia? What if the wildfire come to Malaysia? Come on, it didn't happen. Then why? Clear all those what if. The if clause is the root cause of all this imaginary problem. We need to stop that. Past, we don't have a control over that. Future, we do not know what it is. The present is the only thing. So just do it without having any imagination about the future. If anything disturbs you, remind this to yourself. You are unstoppable. No matter what, just keep doing it. Just like the Dory Fish says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. That's how we can control, alternate, delete our imagination and our memory. Imagine life is a journey. 
if we have a very big baggage on our back, how are we going to travel? It's been a big trouble. Just drop all the luggages, have your hand free. Freedom brings liberty and unconditional love. So fellow Toastmasters, are you ready to click the control alternate delete button in order to delete all your imagination and your old memories? Will you? Back to you Toastmaster of the day. Thank you Toastmasters Basanti. Let's give her a round of applause. Toastmasters Basanti's speech always makes me stare into my computer screen. Ladies and gentlemen, our second speaker for tonight is a guest speaker who will be delivering her presentation mastery level for project one. She is a Toastmasters for almost 14 years. Can you believe that? 14 years. She is a member of Shah Alam and Unipac TMC. Other than that, she hopes to complete her second pathway presentation mastery before end of this year. Now, before Sarah begins her speech, am I enough as I am? She would like to request members to raise your reaction, your reaction button if you wish to ask any questions. Your name will then be called and you can proceed to ask your questions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Distinguished Toastmaster Sarah from Unipac Toastmasters Club. Sarah, yes. am I enough as I am? Am I enough as I am? Sarah, the stage is yours. Right, thank you very much, Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by telling all of you a little story. One day, a little girl, Myra, went up to her grandfather. She threw him a challenge. Hey, Grandpa, what is your greatest discovery? Grandpa looked at Myra, smiled and said, My dear Diamond, my precious, I am no Isaac Newton. Neither am I a Michael Faraday. However, I know I am enough as I am. Look at our fertile land. Look at our hard, honest and grateful workers. Every year, we have got plentiful harvest from our land. And above all that, my precious, I have you. So what more can I ask for? I am indeed enough as I am. Upon hearing that, Aisha hugged her grandfather, fully contented, happy, and satisfied that all her future needs will be met. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, young millennials like you, I would like to ask you this question. Are all of you happy, contented, and assured that all your needs will be met like Myra? Can I have a show of hands? Remember, this is a speech, yes, grammarian. Yes, please unmute yourself if you have a question, Ms. Grammarian, may I know? May I hear your comment, please? Nicole, is it Angie? Angie, right. Angie, would you like to share your comment? Oh, so sorry. Uh, no, uh, we can't hear you very well. Maybe you'd like to key your comment in the chat and I can address it later, I Angie. I can get your question. Sorry. Do you agree that you are happy, contented, and assured that all your needs will be met? Like Myra? 
ing well what about the rest who would like to answer that question you, yes. you will yeah assured all right ng you are right you are right because today we have been told by our teachers by our parents and motivational speakers that we should be grateful for the gifts that god has given us like our look our talent our intellect and so forth yes we have every right to be contented, happy, and assured that all these little gifts will lead us and guide us and support us through all our lives. However, I'm sure you millennials would have other ideas. How about you, Isaac? Do you think that you can be assured of a very good future? with your gift, or for example, your gift of being able to speak in Mandarin and English and Bahasa. Isaac, can I hear from you? Hi, Isaac. Sure, sure. I believe that the most challenging thing in life is to know yourself and how to utilize it. We cannot change our past, but definitely we can change our future. Right, yes, definitely, because the future is one very vague and very unpredictable, unpredictable period in our lives. Nobody expected the pandemic to happen in 2019, but yet now we are fighting the pandemic. Yes, uh, Yuan, may I hear from you, Yuan? You have a question to ask? Yes, go ahead. Yuan, did you put up your hand? Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Just now you mentioned that uh, our future is uncontrollable, but I strongly disagree that because um, what we do right now makes a difference to our future. So we can control our future. But let's say if I want to be 100% fatter, in next month, I can eat 200% more today. So this is something that you control. Yes, Yuan, you are certainly right to think that way. And I hope that more people in the world will believe and think like you and have that attitude of a goal cat getter, a proactive young individual who is keen to make a few, the future work for himself. Now, what about our Zoom master? Uh, I'm MJ, I saw you putting up your hand. Would you like to say something too? I'm not sure about my future. I'm feeling lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you give me some advice? Any advice? Oh, you want some advice about your future? Okay, MJ. Let me just share with you some good advice which is not actually from me, but from those people who have kind of like become game changers on their own. Now, these are the people like, for example, Steve Jobs, who came up with Apple, Jeff Bezos, who came up with uh, Amazon, and even our own Malaysian, Anthony and Pan Hui Yang, who came up with this grab idea. They were the ones who were able to capture the unexplored option, the unexplored need of our society at this time. And they translated it into a supply chain of products to fill our needs. And in so doing, they are making millions today and they have become household names. So MJ, my advice to you is take a good look. Take a good look at what society needs today. Not just a good look, you've got to look even further and deeper in order to discover the unspoken needs that society has, right? 
I won't be able to tell you, MJ, what they are, but I'm sure you, as a very intelligent, upcoming young individual, you will have more means to discover them on your own. Does that help, MJ? Yes, MJ? Hmm. I'm still feeling lost. Don't understand. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe we can catch up later to have a chat and I can help you to clarify your doubt. All right, Kelly, it's over to you. Would you like to contribute something or clarify something? Uh, MJ's doubt for him, Kelly? Yes, Sarah. Mm. Thank you, Sarah. I think uh, the advice Sarah gave to MJ is quite general. That's why I believe that the advice, um, MJ doesn't really receive the message. I think MJ is still lost even after hearing the advice. Because I think we need to really get to know him and then only we can give really um, such a, such a, uh, constructive advice to him to help him. Yeah. What do you think, MJ? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I think, uh, Kelly, you are the right person to explain it to MJ in simple terms over a cup of tea after the meeting, probably. And if you need further help, MJ, I'm prepared to sit in, to be kind of like the third party there to help Kelly to explain the problem to you so that oh, you can sure. understand and get the idea. I see. Right? Yes. That and would be Kelly, great. Yes. Go ahead, MJ. Yeah, that would be great. And maybe we can invite... Uh, more people to join right. if anyone is interested. Yeah, why not? The it's an open invitation, ladies and gentlemen. So let us discuss and help young people to make their own future even a brighter place, better than what they would envision. So my first question was, am I, am I enough as I am? So, ladies and gentlemen, against this evolving, very fluid environment, it would be foolish of me to be persistent and insist that I am enough as I am. Indeed, I am not enough as I am. Anyone today can come up with a brilliant idea. And there are endless opportunities. Endless opportunities and possibilities are there to make a big idea blow and grow into something beyond our wildest dreams. In 2020, we entered the fourth industrial revolution. So as business leaders, all of you, some of you may be business leaders, community service providers, educators, and toastmasters. Let us all be proactive and reach out to upskill ourselves, retrain ourselves, and also aspire to be a better version of ourselves. I am not asking all of you to be another Elon Musk. Or hey, I another... see someone is raising their hand. Yes, who is raising their hand? Can you allow me uh, to call on you to contribute your views at this time when I'm about to conclude my speech? Hello, who would like to contribute a, part, a parting thought or a wrap up for my speech? Anyone who raised his hand, may I know? No, Malati. Malati. Yes. yes, yes, Malati, please yes. go ahead. Yeah, um, I understand where you're coming from, but uh, I do have a question. Um, you know, whatever that we do, exploring into new ideas, looking into opportunities, mm -hmm. and making certain brand as a household name, I get it. But does it guarantee uh, happiness in life? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, that, that's something that, uh, yeah, 
your yes. view, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Malati, I appreciate your bringing up the other side of the picture because wealth doesn't mean happiness. Wealth will not guarantee that we will find the perfect partner, for instance, or live a happy life. But we're talking about the future. The future has got to be sufficiently filled with opportunity for young people to grab them, for young people to reach out and make something out of themselves. Now, those opportunities are the ones that I'm talking about. They can be created by other people for you, or you can create them yourself. All it takes is a little bit of imagination. Look beyond, look further, reach wider, and there you'll find it. And you can tap it and make it big yourself. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me take you by the hand and let's walk the extra mile to look beyond, reach beyond, and to achieve far beyond our limits. Help me confirm this thought that you and I can always be more than we want to be or that we can be. Will you all agree to this deal that I'm offering to all of you? Let us reach beyond, go beyond, and make ourselves a better version of ourselves today. Right. With that, it's back to you, Toastmaster of the evening. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Sarah. Let's give her a round of applause. She did really great. In case if you're wondering why is this speech so many people talking and asking questions, the project of this speech is to learn how to handle difficult audience. Okay. We have heard two great fantastic speeches from our excellent speakers. They have raised their hands. They have raised their standards in speaking again this evening by completing a speech project. Let us all give them a thunderous applause again for their courage and spirit to excel. Now, let's move on to our group photo session. I will be taking the photo. So, ladies and gentlemen, please turn on your camera and show us your handsome and beautiful faces. By the way, while we are waiting for people to turn on their cameras, I felt a very difficult to be a difficult audience. The way Sarah answered my questions uh, makes me feel warm. And yeah. Anyway, everybody has turned on their cameras, so I'm going to take the photo. So I'm counting down from three, two, one, and what you need to do is to post and hold for three seconds. So three, two, one, post. Again, three, two, one, post. All right, let's have one more with another different post. We have no serious post, we have another different post. Need two seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, post. Great. Thank you so much for your beautiful and handsome faces. That's with that passing back to you, just not the evening, actually. Thank you, Jen. Now, now comes the most awaited session, which is the intermission session. Yeah. <laughs> we shall break for three minutes and we will be back at eight. 47 p.m. It's 8.44 p.m. now and we will be back at 8.47 p.m. Okay. 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 
Okay, we shall be back after 10 minutes. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> Now I know what her project is. If I know that her project is, definitely I will say the different answer for her. <laughs> it's funny, I, I thought speak with a straight face, I think it's like him. I don't know how many years in Toastmaster, I have mastered the art of speaking without moving my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> testing, testing. You know, uh, how to speak without moving your mouth? Jen, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's another idea. <laughs> There's so many Mandarin favorite topic speaker and stress. Um, sorry, just to check. Uh, are we going to be back by eight forty seven as be, as per written in the agenda, or we're gonna be back in uh ten minutes, which I lost track on the timing. Yeah, ten minutes. So eight fifty five. Okay. okay, right. Uh, that, that allow me to you know answer nature copy back. Thanks. Sorry, fifty four. Eight fifty four. How long did you um, learn to speak Mandarin? One year. Oh. Do you do you have an environment to speak, or you just learn and? I already tell that in my tab my table topic. Yeah, I was writing so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no, I learn by myself. Uh, you are. You are great, really. No lah, me you niho. Cannot compare because I, I have the environment to speak. So, <laughs> can you share the apps? Just now you mentioned you got the apps, right? The app apps. Can you share the apps with us? Um, hello Chinese. There's a lot actually. Slow and yeah. That one, Hello Chinese, is for, for really beginner. And then after that, I use slow Chinese. And then after that, as my level is gradually increased, then I just watch YouTube. Then oh, try wow. to co try to copy how, how, awesome. how they say. Mm. Mm. Currently, I'm doing my Mandarin pathway. So I No. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Currently, I'm doing my Mandarin pathway. Maybe I would interested to do it in your club. Oh, wow. Wow. They will be grateful. Yeah. Kelly well, can be your mentor. He's a very good Mandarin speaker. Isaac, I'm your neighbor. I'm from Samie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, how you are from Samie and you are a member of this club? Uh, that is magic. <laughs> <laughs> like north and south, like actually. That's oh, okay, right. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, saying that I live in Perlis and I join <laughs> Johor Baru Toastmasters Club. <laughs> hey, possible what? <laughs> <laughs> now the world is so small already. We can be a member of anywhere in any club. Sorry for interrupting, I may ask, uh, for this Zoom, right, will it carry on until next year? Or just alternatively plan? I think um, we are safe enough to move, we can <laughs> be here. Yeah. I don't think we are going to have face-to-face -face <laughs> soon. <laughs> because because last if let's say it's Zoom, I will consider to join back. If let's say physical meetup, then will be a uh, challenging. <laughs> oh, uh, rest assured, even if it goes back to physical, we will have hybrid. Oh, how is it going on? Maybe we can join online. Sorry, I can't hear. How you join? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I see there is a new modules that I never participated before. So I'm interested on that. There's 11 modules. Wow, interesting. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. So who shall you refer to? Um, Alex, let me put you into your a breakout room. They are in, and Alex is briefing them. Hey, my friends also here. My friends also a uh, guest. Chewy, Chewy. Yeah. I assigned him or her already, but he didn't join. He didn't. Maybe the maybe she listen is intermission so faster catch up the time go to toilet. Yeah. Okay. I put you into the breakout room. Huh? All right. Sure. Thanks. Be, before yet because yesterday I just did my project speech in Mandarin at Metropolitan Bilingual Club. Do you know that? Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. I don't wait, Sarah, to answer a question just now. I yeah. checked on our meeting agenda. It uh -huh. actually charted on uh, 2014. So it's like seven years. Oh, okay. I need that. Uh. Yeah. Um, Actually, Zarina is also a past member yeah. of Elite, you know? I think, I think I heard her name for quite yeah. a few times. She was one of our past president. president. Yeah. yeah, past president. Yeah. yeah, I think she visited our club like once or twice for quite some times back. Yeah, I've been right. you know, listening some of names and Zarina is one of names that mm. uh, Chen Chen been, you know, mentioning mm. for a few times as well. Okay. Yeah. When you're conducting your meeting, Yi, I think we met before, right? In our club meeting, I think for twice as well, you visited our club uh, on second and fourth Thursday. Because I'm getting old, I already forget the <laughs> club that I, I visit. No I, I think so, we yeah. met before for, for a few times and you attended the table topic as well. And we are like, you know, amazed by, by your talent in languages. So mm -hmm. I, I remember you, pay, you actually visited our club as well. Thank you for remembering. I really don't remember. <laughs> Seems like you've been very actively um, clubbing around. <laughs> yeah, two more minutes. Okay. So there, there's actually a breakup room for the uh, guests, is it? Like from your conversation just now. So you will have... Yes, so um, the guest is put into the breakout room together with the vice president membership for, oh. them, for him to understand um, how can we help. Mm. Ah, I see, I oh, see. That's nice. Yeah. That's new. Hmm. Sometimes they'll have it after the meeting too, right, Zen? Um, yeah, it depends whether they, do they need. Mm. Mm. Ah, I see. Yeah, usually we also like uh, uh, having our VPM too. Um, to follow up with the guests and ask for the feedback, so on. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I, I, cause just now I heard something along the line that you're having a breakup room for the guests. I said, like, wow, okay. That is how we managed to catch all the times, right? With during intermissions. <laughs> it is inspired by Kelly. Actually, the the idea comes from um B and I. Ah, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. But, but I, I, I'm not a BNI member. I just joined them as a guest. Mm. So from there, I got the idea. Then I bring it to our club. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a good, good uh, effort. Good idea, like, I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So for the guests, we will explain, uh, explore a bit more after the uh, okay. session now, okay? Mm. Mm. This, on, this time's up already. Okay. No, you're here. So run back here, right? No. Okay. Everyone back here? Yes. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On our previous session, we had listened to the great two speeches uh, prepared by was a deliver by Vasundi, uh, Toastmaster Vasundi and uh, DTM Sarah. Um, I hope all of you get ready for the next session, uh, which is called a Evaluation Session. Uh, let's put a hand together to welcome our GE, uh, Yi. Thank you so much to Rosni. Oh, 
Okay, I saw a pop up a <laughs> the favorite top, table topic speaker. Cool. Okay, everyone, please cast your vote. All right. Okay. So thank you so much to uh, Rosni for the kind introduction. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned earlier, I'm your GE for today. So my role is to conduct the second half of the meeting and uh, present an overall evaluation, evaluation for this meeting. And of course, I'm not doing it alone. I have a team of Endeavor role players and evaluators to you know, provide very fruitful and insightful feedback to all the speakers tonight. So first on, my line uh, first on the first on my line today we have a toastmaster hui chi who is going to evaluate toastmaster wasati for her speech just now so without further ado i would like to pass over the control to hui chi over to you i'm sorry we have our table topic evaluation oh, oh sorry <laughs> all right sorry i missed out the sorry I'm too excited. Okay, sorry for that. Before I get Huichi to evaluate on Masati's speech, I would like to invite a toast, distinguished Toastmaster Sarah to provide some feedback to all our uh, brave soldiers now who take up for the table topic session. So the stage is your distinguished Toastmaster Sarah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, General Evaluator. Uh, may I share my slide? Please, may I share my slide? Okay, so yeah, all right. Thank you, Yuan. All right. Now, fellow Toastmasters, as uh, the GE had said, all the table topic speakers were very brave indeed. They were very brave speakers. I listened to Isaac. I could hardly understand two sentences, but I just kind of like summed up that he had a great opening. He spoke in, a, uh, in Mandarin, great hand gestures, but I'll leave the full evaluation of Isaac's speech and also Jesse in the capable hands of the president himself, who is Yuan. So I'll begin with Malati. Now Malati, you were very commendable when you took on the topic you started by defining the word challenge. What kind of challenge did you face recently? And you were very good to fall back on a fresh experience that you went through. And you were thoughtful, impactful, and you left no stone unturned to convince us that today we have to be in the now to tackle the COVID situation. So what could you do better, Malati? Uh, perhaps you could add on some meaningful hand gestures, or you could also enumerate the steps to overcome these challenges. For example, number one, we can do this. Number two, because in the process of speaking, our words get lost and the audience will be lost as well. So in conclusion, I would say that you have convinced us with your point about providing strong support to those affected by the pandemic. Well done, Malati. Uh, the third speaker was Marcus, who had to do the topic, control or delete all the things that are harmful. Now, Marcus, I congratulate you and I applaud you for this is your first time that you are attempting a table topic and you did it surprisingly well, Marcus. Believe me, your, your speech was well paced. You had clear vocals and a very expressive speaking voice. You talked about overcoming your fear and you relate it to your fear of public speaking. The only thing, Marcus, is to take a little bit of time to like think over what you are going to deliver. Nobody expects you to speak the moment the topic is given to you. You can take one or two minutes to consider your point 
And then you can talk about the why do I feel this fear? When did I feel this fear? How did I tackle this fear? To no success until I came to a Toastmasters meeting. Then you can kind of like convince us that we Toastmasters really will work for you. So thanks so much, Martha, for trying, and I applaud your courage. The third speaker that I had the opportunity and the fortune to evaluate is MJ. Now, MJ, you began with a smile. You were so poised, so at ease. You had a pleasant tone of voice and an easy pace. You repeated the topic to make sure that you're not going off tangent. May I suggest, MJ, that you make an effort to sound more positive because you're talking about deleting negativity. So therefore, you should add doses of positivity. Smile and say what you did to kind of like make yourself chase away your negativity. And I like your suggestion. You gave us a suggestion, make sure you eat, eat well. And with a happy tummy, therefore, you will be physically and mentally ready to take on any challenge that comes your way. And I, MJ, I really like your expressive tone of variety. And I believe you have won the hearts of many listeners. So with that, it's over to Yuan, who will evaluate the first speaker and the last speaker. Thank you, Taylor, for the evaluator, Sarah, distinguished yeah. master Sarah. So um, I am going to evaluate the Mandarin table topics. This is my first time evaluating in Mandarin, so please bear with me. Okay, so here goes. Anyway, um, 我觉得你讲话的时候非常的舒服 讲的更好。第一个就是，我觉得你还可以有更好的一些结构，就是在你的呃演讲里面可以有更好的结构，让我们可以更容易根据你的演讲去吸收你所讲的东西。嗯，第二位。Kelly,我觉得你做了好的东西,就是你分享故事,然后你让人觉得让人可以感受到你的心情。你一讲完过后,我看到chat里面有很多都可以感受到你的困难,然后感受到你是一个非常好的老师,那是一个好事。然后,
你你的演讲有一点快，有时候我有一点点跟不上，所以我觉得对我来说，说慢一点，有多一点停会比较好。嗯、呃，实体上我觉得这三位勇敢的，对不对？<笑>我做的非常的好，我觉得我没有他们这么好。然后谢谢你让我有这个机会，也对。Is that back to you? I don't know. I don't know. Is that easy? Thank you so much, Sujan. I I certainly agree that it is very struggling to speak in Mandarin, even though it's our mother tongue. But it's kind of caught us off guard because we have not tried to. Evaluate in Mandarin. We are so used to, you know, evaluate in English. But good try, and it definitely show, you know, the spirit of table topic. Not only you are attending the table topic impromptu table topic, but you gotta attend yourself for an impromptu evaluation as well. So I find that is a very good spirit that we have. Thank you so much, Jen. And uh, I personally like how you evaluate. With I can see your sincerity in sharing your thought, your personal thought about each speaker, and you. Never felt to give that one, you know, simple and straightforward suggestion that may help the speaker. So well done on that. And on top of that, also would like to, you know, um, commend uh distinguished Toastmaster Sarah for you know giving us a very straightforward, a very clear cut suggestion and observations to the speaker. You are able to do the screen sharing, which I really admire you. Putting the strength, the suggestion, and the observation in three columns that the speakers can, you know, take a look and they can relate and recall easily and to work on what to think about what is next for them. And I like how you always um share your point with these two perspective, which is why why it is so important to do so and how you can challenge yourself on the next level. So these are the two perspective I find will be very insightful to each speaker. And your evaluation is very encouraging. If I were the, you know, if I were the guest who didn't take up any role today, you know, listen to your evaluation, it felt so encouraging. And I just felt like I would want to try out the table topic on the next meeting. So thank you so much to distinguished Toastmaster Sarah. So moving forward, yes, uh, I have actually introduced the evaluator just now. So allow me to once again, you know, with a uh, great honor, I would like to invite the second evaluator for tonight, uh, Hui Chi, who is going to evaluate Masati's speech. So over to you, Hui Chi. Thank you very much to our competent communicator, competent leader, Yi. Toastmaster Masanti, wow, what an amazing speech. You have definitely fulfilled the speech objective, which is to improve from your previous speech. Why do I say so? I'm going to share three things what I love about your speech and two things for you to consider to elevate your speech to another level. First thing, you have definitely improved by inserting a lot of speech details, which make me more vividly can imagine your speech. For example, I love those vivid descriptive words that you have mentioned, frogs croak, dripping, water dripping down the roof. Everything just wet, about to burst. Empty kitchen cabinet, tears overflow. Memories kill him. Big baggage, drop it, freight. You know, all these little, little descriptive words has definitely painted a thousand pictures in my mind. Good job on that. Second things I love about your speech is you always have this captivating introduction to engross people. Like you shared about the pertinent and relevant digital device to human, whereby all of us must be using a handphone right now. And of course, you relate it to our memory space, delete, if not damage. So you playfully use all these words to make me like further intrigue my curiosity. What are you going to speak about? Well done on that. And thirdly, you definitely have improved your conclusion, which is being very impactful and powerful. You focus on the key message, which is there's no control on the past. You don't know the future and be present, drop baggage. These are the key words that I managed to capture and definitely it is running through your whole speech nicely. Well done on that. So here comes the two little nuggets that I'd like to share with you. Just my humble suggestion. The first thing is I would love you to have a smoother transition between your stories. 
because I can see that you have a lot of stories in this whole speech, seven minute speech. There are around four stories. The first thing you talk about device, then you link it to a person who lost about the sad story. And then you link it, how do we relate that message? And at the end, it comes to a conclusion. For me, these four stories, it would be nicer to have a smoother transition by asking questions. Engage the audience with questions. For example, after the sad story about the person who lost the job, probably you want to throw the question to the audience by asking. Have you, have your memory kills you? If yes, I'm going to share this tip to you. Then you can talk about your imagination and some other things you want to share. So that in that way, it can make me all engage and talk about it. Take it deeper to ourselves and how to link it to the audience better. And the second tip is, I find that your speech is a little bit rather long and it's a bit over timing. So sometimes it happens to us, the speakers who are very enthusiastic. So perhaps you like to shorten your speech by giving lesser tips to be more succinct. For example, you just want to share one tip to the audience on how to delete the message. You just want to focus on imagination. What if, what if? You can just screw it and nail it and drill it to our mind on that. And the second thing you can do how to be more succinct is to probably cut short the conclusion as well. Somehow it gives me that too much of information is a bit overwhelming. So perhaps you would like to cut short your conclusion and that conclusion will definitely leave an everlasting impact in my mind. So overall, you have done a uh, wonderful job and I definitely love your speech. You have inserted speech details in vivid descriptive words. You have captivating introduction. You have impactful and powerful conclusion. I'll let you challenge yourself to have a smoother transition between the stories and also be more succinct in your speech. Overall, you are an amazing speaker. Back to you, Madam General Evaluator E. Thank you so much, Chu Hui Chi. Um, you always amazing <laughs> your evaluation every time. Yeah. You know, I visited this club. You are always the evaluator, and you never fail to amaze me. Uh, first on first of all, I like how positive you know the up leading and the engaging tone that you have throughout the whole evaluation. It just immediately caught our attention. Not even the speaker, not only the speaker, but me as the general evaluator and other guests will want to listen to you because it's so enthusiastic. And uh, I like how you basically, you didn't only tell about what to do, but you demonstrate, you show, you show us the tonality to throw a question just now, which is a very good example as an evaluator. Not only you tell, but you show to the speaker. So that is actually very spot on. And I found that you are definitely, you know, a award-winning evaluator. So just continue to keep on shining. Uh, I hope to see you in the contest. So moving on, uh, we have another very experienced Toastmaster as well, which I have heard her name for many times, but this is my very first time to meet her, you know, virtually. Hopefully I can get to meet her face to face in a very short while in the new near feature in, in our physical meeting. So moving on, I'd like to invite our second evalu evaluator for tonight, who is Distinguished Toastmaster Zarina, who is going to evaluate uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Sarah's speech. So over to you, to Distinguished Toastmaster Zarina. Thank you so much to the General Evaluator for that very positive introduction. I look forward to meeting you as well. So ladies and gentlemen, after listening to Sarah's speech, do you feel uplifted, encouraged, and motivated to reach beyond your present boundaries? I'm pretty sure that everybody did because even though I'm not a millennial, I certainly felt uplifted. Thank you so much, Sarah, for that speech. Am I enough as I am? So there were so many things that Sarah did right. I'm going to focus on the project objective, which is in managing a difficult audience. So the first thing that I particularly loved was how she handled each audience who disrupted the flow of her speech. She respected them. She never disagreed with them. And she gently led us all back 
to her speech. So the transition between addressing the audience concerns to going back to the central message of a speech was very smoothly done. The second thing that I liked was that despite the disruptions, the speaker still took the time and the trouble to address specific members of the audience. She asked questions of the grammarian, she asked questions of Isaac, and she also asked questions of one or two more members of the audience. And this was, I believe, Sarah, deliberate questions that you wanted to include in your speech and was not part of the disruption that was supposed to happen. So that increased the interaction with the audience. And as we all know, increased interaction means increased engagement. The use of story at the start of the speech, along with her vocal and facial expression, all added to this image that we have of you as a presenter who is genuinely out to motivate and uplift the millennials in the audience. Now, how could Sarah have made the speech better? In terms of handling the disruption, Sarah, I felt that you could have kept it as short as possible, particularly the first disruption that occurred at the start of the speech. And that disruption was ably handled, but there was a bit of a pause where the audience was stuck in that groove in limbo, where the person who asked the question was on mute. So you could have either asked another question or moved on from there. Secondly, I would like you to consider adding a phrase that you can repeat after each disruption. For example, you can say after each disruption. So ladies and gentlemen, are you enough as you are? So that will then remind the audience of the central message of your speech. Because I felt that because there were a lot of disruptions, the flow was broken up and the message was a little bit lost somewhere in the middle. All in all, Sarah, you demonstrated capable skills as a speaker and presenter. And I love how you affirm and respected each audience member keep the disruption short, and I look forward to your next speech. Over to you. Thank you so much to Distinguished Toastmaster Zarina. You know, um, today I was just about to tell uh, our President Jen that I've been getting a bit stressed because it has been quite some time when I joined Toastmaster meeting because I've been quite busy with my work off late. But today, you know, it's such an eye-opener for me, you know, to learn again from all this you know, seasoned speakers, experienced Toastmasters, especially on evaluation itself, because evaluation is the, I would say, one of very main and important part of Toastmasters where we help each other to grow together. And today from to Distinguished Toastmasters, Zarina, I could really learn the way you speak so, you know, cool, calm, collected, and you are so composed. It's really set up a very credible um, identity as a speaker, as an evaluator, and you, you set a very good role model to all of us. And I like how you time yourself, and when you see the red light is on, you quickly move to the conclusion. So thank you so much. It's definitely a, a golden opportunity for me to learn from both of the two evaluators. Three, in, in fact, three of these evaluators tonight are amazing. So thank you so much for the great evaluations that you have shared with us just now. So now I'd like to uh, get the Zoom master to pull up the uh, poll, right? Are we going to vote for the best evaluator for tonight? Yes, it's gonna be a very hard time for you guys because <laughs> yes, as what I say today, tonight our <laughs> evaluators are like golden evaluators. Uh, I myself, I honestly speaking, I don't know who to choose on. <laughs> okay. All right, where is Jen? Yeah, we are supposed to have Jen as well, right? So if you would like to vote for Jen, perhaps you can vote for Sarah because they are in the team. They are the <laughs> evaluations for the table topic, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, we have listened to the evaluations from all, all our speech evaluator. Now I'd like to move on to the reports of our technical role players. 
uh, it's very important in Toastmaster we learn how to improve not only in terms of structure but also in terms of how we speak uh, do we speak within the time the wordings that we use so with that being said I would like to first invite our English teacher for tonight who is our grammarian uh, with that I would like to pass over the control to NG over to you NG Hi, uh, good evening. Uh, first of all, I apologize of uh, always lagging my uh, Zoom. I'll try to catch up as much as I can. So uh, once of all again, I'll try to repeat the words that we are doing is the persistent. So uh, I can't show the, the slide because I'm using the phone now. So I just read out. Alex around using two words for the words of the day. Jessica, Jessica Lee uh, using word one. Sarah one. Maybe other is, is using, but uh, I'm lagging off, so I'm like, not listening well. So for the good words, Wasanti have a lot. I just keep uh, some of it overwhelming. Three gorgeous gem. Unstoppable. Sarah, a lot also, but I try, I just get some only. Unpredictable, endless of opportunity. Huichi, everlasting, captivated. Yi Yi, enthusiasm, keep on shining. Zarina, uplifted. That's all for my report today. Thank you. Pass it to you, generator evaluation. Thank you so much to Angie, our grammarian for today for the short and sweet um, report. Moving forward, I'd like to invite our next technical role player who is our Rolex of the night. All right, it's very important for us to make sure we keep track on our timing. So with that, I'd like to invite our Rolex for tonight, Nicole, to for her timekeeper report. Over to you, Nicole. Hi, Yi Yi. Should we ask for the R counter first? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. My mistake. I actually skipped. Okay. So, sorry. Before we invite the Rolex, I would like to invite the vocal teacher for tonight, who is our R counter. With that, I would like to pass over to control to Kang Hui. Over to you, Kang Hui. Right. Thank you our general evaluator EE. -E. Today I'm and the I'm the R counter. So I'm trying to capture all the post filler and repeat words. And here I would like to present you uh, the report. So first thing first today um, I'm so glad that I can have the opportunity to meet a lot of uh, seasonal and very experienced Toastmaster and definitely your speech, sentence, uh, evaluation, and all these uh, communication skills is impressed me. And definitely today we able to capture, there are two of them without post filler throughout the whole sessions, which is goes to Wasanti and Ku. Yeah. Although Ku didn't deliver any speech, but in between he do some he has some interaction with others. So I also try to capture some post filler from him, but unfortunately, um, I'm not able to capture, but um, today we can learn from two of them and proceed with, um, this is the report that I try to capture uh, from the post filler. So I will suggest that all of you can screenshot and refer to your own. And here I would like to uh, quickly go through uh, the, the reports. For example, like, First one is Hui Chi. I'm only able to capture your post filler, which is so one times, uh, one times. And myself, I will add on a lot during the sessions. Okay, <laughs> believe um my post filler will be um and uh. All right, Jen, you have the repeated um post filler is the interjection. I consider to put more concern on the so and also um. For Kelly, your repeated words more in Mandarin is uh, 就是, so can also put some um, cons, uh, focus on your R, M, and 就是. For MJ, you can, con you can um, 
focus on a. Uh. For Alex, you can put more focusing to reduce your so. Rosni, you can focus to reduce your um. And Melati, um, I might say it's quite well. It's just a very little one I'm able to capture. But you may also consider this report to uh, focus on your um. And just now I forgot about uh, one our uh, uh, Toastmaster of the evening, which is Natalie. Natalie is uh, quite smooth and I didn't capture any post here, but there is a repeat words, uh, which is uh, she quite frequent to repeat in her begin or at the end of the sentence, which is okay, now and all right. Uh, especially all right. So Natalie um, may consider to focus on uh, reduce your all right in your sentence or in your speech. Um, for Rosny, you can um, put more focus on er. Uh. For NG, you can focus on er uh as well. Then for our guest, our uh, toast the Toastmaster guest, Sarah, can focus on so and um. Uh. For our general evaluator, you can focus on the first filler of um. For Isaac, not much. All right, but uh, since just now you deliver your impromptu speech in Mandarin, and in Mandarin is a very obvious uh, repeat words which is, uh, z. Uh, especially when you are trying to translate or convert it into Mandarin, you will have a habit z. This sounds. Um, so I I I I couldn't able to write out the 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 slang or what, so I just put in Mandarin. All right, then for Marcus, you can uh, focus on to reduce a, and JC, uh, you also deliver your impromptu speech in Mandarin. Uh, the repeat word is run hole and na. All right, and last but not least is um, Zarina. It's quite well, just I'm spot on the soul. So this is all the um, post filler I'm able to capture and thank you and back to you. January waiter EE. Thank, Thank you. you so much to Kang Hui. I will I shall share my um, observations for you later on. Moving on, I would like to invite the last technical role players for tonight. Uh, as I have already introduced her earlier on, our Rolex of the night. We'd like to put our hands together for our timekeeper, Nicole. Over to you, Nicole. Thank you, EE. So our meeting tonight starts at 7 30. The meeting resume of uh after interim mission is at 8.53. So Sergeant, on, uh, Sergeant at Arms took nine minutes, 52 seconds. Our president take five minutes, 10 seconds. Toastmaster of the day took nine minutes. Table topic master took 20 minutes for the entire table topic session, which include six table topic speaker. The first table topic speaker, Isaac, took one minute and 56 seconds. Table topic speaker number two, Tok Malati, took one minute 47 seconds. Table topic speaker three, Marcus Yu, took 52 seconds. Table topic speaker four, Kelly Chu, took two minutes and 14 seconds. Table topic speaker number five, MJ, took one minute and 58 seconds. Table topic speaker number six, Jesse Lee, took two minutes. Congratulations to all table topic speakers. None of you went over time. All of you are eligible for the best speaker, uh, best table topic award. Now I move on to the prepared speeches. Today we have two prepared speech. One is from Vasanti. She took eight minutes and 20 seconds. Sarah took 15 minutes and 10 seconds. Following, we have the evaluation section. Table topic evaluator Sarah took 3 minutes and 52 seconds. This is also supported by assistant table topic evaluator Juan, who took 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Followed by our grammarian, took, grammarian Angie took 1 minute. Our counter Kang Hui took 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And for myself, I took 1 minute and 57 seconds. So back to you, Yi Yi. Thank you so much, uh, Timer Nicole. I, I'm always amazed by the timer who's able to time themselves. Because me, whenever I take up the timer role, 
for sure, 99% of the time, I lost track of my own timing. So thank you so much, Nicole, for that. So now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after listening to all our speech evaluators and technical role players report, uh, here are some of my humble evaluations or observations throughout the meeting as the general evaluator. So usually, if I will be invited to be the general evaluator, what I will be first observing will be the meeting room before even before the meeting started. So I noticed that um, it is written on the agenda and uh, the meeting, the technical, the guest um, registration, it should be started by 7 p.m. So I was trying to log into the Zoom room by 7 p.m. just now, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, the room actually opened around 7, 15 p.m. So my suggestion will be, it will be either because it will be um, quite, I would say, is uh, such a commitment for the same SAA or the same Zoom master to take up the role, you know, to log on by 7 p.m. sharp to invite all the guests in. I will suggest to have, you know, a roster to have the uh, exco team or even the members take turn to open up the meeting room, the Zoom room by 7 p.m. sharp or else we can just put it as 7.15 on the agenda itself for the guest registration. So that is the first thing. Um, uh, but uh, I will have to really commend the Zoom master MJ for personally texted me earlier on for the agenda as well as the Zoom link one day before the meeting, which is really proactive. Thank you so much to Zoom master MJ. So moving forward by 7.30 shop, you know, I was expecting, you know, I'm chit-chatting with Sarah and uh, President Jen, you know, without further hes hesitation, he just jump in and say, okay, I know you guys are excited. Uh, let's start out with the meeting, which I find is really cool because it's very important to start off meeting on time. So well done on that, Jen. So the meeting uh, was started by our SAA, Rosni, which I understand this uh, is your first time. Is it your first time to be the SAA? Yeah, Rosni, well done on that. I like the energy level that you have because SAA is the one who set the vibes and, you know, uh, set the floor, the whole atmosphere for the meeting in the very beginning of the meeting. And you just start off with a very happy, very uplifting mood and your your tonality, I can felt you're enthusiastic in it. So you, you greet the guests and then you conduct an icebreaking session so that everyone can let loose. You take the lead on the icebreaking by sharing your own thought, which I think is really highly commendable. And uh, I'm not too sure about talking about the theme of the meeting. Is it part of the SAA role? Is it part of your, um, you know, your the culture of your club? Uh, because usually, if I'm not mistaken, the SAA will be uh, mostly conducting on, you know, opening the floor and announcing the house role. So uh, there was one part of time where you share about the meeting theme, which take up quite a lot of your time. That is why I noticed you run uh, slightly over the time. So if I will make, I I made if I were to suggest. If it is the part of the role as the SAA to talk about the meeting theme, perhaps to extend the time allocation for the SAA from five minutes to 10 minutes, because we did the five minutes, the SAA will need to introduce the word of the day, greet the guests and then ice breaking and a mission of Toastmaster and the meeting theme, I find it is a bit, um, the time allocated is a bit too short for the SAA. So this one will have to depends on the cultures of the club, whether the SAA to talk about the meeting theme. But all in all, I find you as a first timer SAA, you are really cool, calm. You know what you are talking and you just set the floor and tell us what are the rules, house rules. And you, you know, you, you did well, you did. In fact, it's not only well, but amazing for your first timer as an SAA. So I will definitely give a, you know, a tender round of applause for you on that. All right, moving forward, we have our president, Jen, who uh, actually further elaborate on Rosny uh, thought on the meeting theme itself. I find it very challenging, yes, because Rosny has been sharing some very useful and relatable message about the meeting theme. And what you have done perfectly is that you go deeper by giving us some very lively example, as well as giving us a, a fun engagement through a psychology experiment that you share with us. That is how you link back to the meeting theme, which I found you done it perfectly. So uh, my, uh, if, my, if I may to suggest you, you know, to perhaps get some of the guests to share their thought about the meeting theme as well, because I noticed some of the guests, they actually joined after the meeting started for a few minutes. Uh, I, I, I thought I saw Arno, 
um, go out in or uh, chew in. Maybe we can invite some of guests, you know, to share their thought about the meeting team as well. But overall, I like how you link back to the meeting team with the, you know, lively experiment and the examples that you give. Moving forward, we have Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie, who is also a first timer, which I cannot tell. You know, I was personally texted, uh, Jen, I was asking who, do we have any first timer today? And I was actually quite surprised to know that Natalie, you're actually doing the Toastmaster of the evening for the very first time. And I totally cannot tell that. I, I couldn't tell that because it's very smooth. And I like how cheerful you are. Your voice, your tonality is really loud and clear. And it catches the attention of the audience the very first second when you start speaking. And I like how you text me in at once to ask for, you know, how can you introduce me, which add in a personal uh, touch, a personal sense of touch on each of your introductions, which is a very good preparations that you have done as the Toastmaster of the evening, which I really commend you on that. And um, if I may to give you some suggestions, you know, because you have a very melodious voice, try to minimize the reading because I understand this is the first time being of the evening, but it will be good if you're able to cut down the reading, which actually, be sorry, I think I hear someone speaking. Okay, so it will be good if you can minimize some of the reading because it will reduce your eye contact with the audiences as well as you know, um, to track on the finalized agenda with the president or the VPE, because I noticed there are some changes on the agenda. So it would be good if the Toastmaster of the evening can communicate on the changes of the agenda. Okay, so uh, all in all, uh, all in all, uh, anyway, I think as a first timer, you know, Toastmaster evening is really stressful because you take up, you know, most, the most chunk of the meeting and you, you do it, you, you did it well. Thank you so much, Natalie. And uh, moving on, we have a table topic master, Alex. I like how you tell us why, what are the reasons we are having table topic. And uh, you tell us a very clear instruction in terms of the timing. And you, uh, I like how you set up the question that is relevant to the theme itself, as well as it's very relatable where everyone can easily answer because uh, those are our experience. The speakers can easily share their own personal experience when attempting to your topic. So I find that you have set up a beautiful list of questions on that. And I like how persistent you are in using the word of the day, persistence, yes. And, uh, and I noticed that you basically um, talk about the, the previous speaker before introducing the next speaker. That just showed that you actually listened to the speakers and that makes your transi transition kind of smooth in between. So well done on that. Um, my, part, my, my point of improvement for you as a Table Topic Master will be definitely tell us the tips how to tackle the fear in Table Topic and how to rise above it because you tell us the why. So tell us how, which will help to encourage the speaker to take up the Table Topic as well. So thank you so much, Alex, for the beautiful Table Topic session. And uh, moving on, we have also our technical speakers. First of all, we also have Grammarian, our first time at Grammarian, Angie. So this is your first time taking out the Grammarian role. And I like how persistent you are. You show your pers persistency by, you know, even though you're having a bad uh, line, you know, the internet coverage on your site, but you shows the persistency in, you know, sitting in throughout the meeting and jotting down all the good phrases that the members and speaker have been used. So my challenge for you, perhaps moving forward on your next meeting, try to use laptop so that you can share screen because most for most of the time, the grammarian role itself, I found a beautiful role is to share all these beautiful phrases that have been used. So it would be good if you're able to do the share screen on your um, grammarian's report. But all in all, as a first timer grammarian, and despite all the internet problems that you have, you definitely did a good job. Uh, thank you so much to Angie. And uh, also we have our R counter, Kang Hui. I like how you go so detailed and you're so kind that I thought you skipped the part where I have a lot of, you know, uh, filler words and you are kind enough to skip the part, but I saw that and you're so dedicated to, you know, jot out each and every single words and even the Chinese uh, filler words that I never thought that there would be z is counted as a filler word. So well done on that. That show how you actually listen attentively to each speakers. So my challenge for you again, 
to tell us why it is so important to control our filler words and how can we reduce our filler words as well as an R counter. So thank you so much to Kang Hui. And uh, last but not least, I also have our timer, Nicole. Uh, I would suggest for Nicole, because I can't see your beautiful face throughout the whole meeting. I think there was only one part where we we're having a group photo where I got to see you. So during your report as a timer, probably you can turn on your video. And for the timer itself, I would say it would be good if you are able to share screen so that we can have a better understanding on the timing and keep track on our timing itself. And try, you know, because I noticed there are some speakers, including me, who actually ran over the time. So it will be good and totally fine for the timer to just jump in and stop the speaker by saying that, I'm sorry, but you actually ran over the time. So that will be my challenge for you as a timer. So all you know, I find a Clang Bilingual Toastmaster Club is, as usual, very proactive. You guys texted me in at once for the link, for the um, you know, meeting minutes and all the necessary informations away, uh, I mean, way before the meeting itself. That just shows how proactive and even Jen actually looked for me as a GE two months in at once. So that is really crazy. The passion in, in the president and the exco is crazy. And I like how I supported this club where you have your chat, uh, keep on like, you know, really active, like sharing the meeting agenda, the virtual background, and even Hui Chi to compile all the table topic speakers and what are the topics and some encouraging message throughout the whole meeting, you know, that just show how supportive of every single member to each other and very welcoming to all the guests as well. Okay, I saw the timer is giving me the final, uh, final ring. Okay, with that, I would like to say thank you so much for having me to be the GE for tonight. Uh, definitely learning a lot from each and everyone, be it the new timer, role players, or even the season, uh, experienced Toastmaster and evaluators. And I'll definitely, you know, excited to be back again. So with that, I'd like to pass back the control to our uh, Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie. Over to you, Natalie. Thank you very much for the evaluation, our general evaluator. I hope all of you have enjoyed the meeting as much as I am. Before that, I would like to share an introduction of the general evaluator, which I did not get to introduce her in the beginning. She said she is happily married to Elite Toastmasters Club for four years plus, and she enjoys learning and growing with her really lovely Elite family. Looks like she really loves her Elite family and she's enjoying her journey in Toastmasters Club. If you're not a Toastmasters member yet, and you would like to feel the love and the enjoyment of becoming Becoming a Toastmaster, feel free to look forward to our Vice President membership to feel the love and also the enjoyment from our KBTC family. Now, I would like to hand over control to the President for our closing speech. Thank you, Natalie. So first of all, I would love to thank, I, I, th I remember I thank you for coming at the beginning of the session, but I would also love to thank you again for staying for this two hours, more than two hours already. So I know the time is short and we go over time already, but I think you wouldn't mind because you are enjoying. So first of all, um, I would love to thank all the other guests from other Toastmasters Club, including our general evaluator, E, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Sarah, distinguished Toastmaster Darina, um, Arnott from School of Hard Knots, um, Jesse, and GI. I, sorry, I don't know why it's the full name, GI. And thank you for coming and thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy and would also love to congratulate a few members. First of all, let us congratulate Wasanti for completing her first level in the pathway. So um, you, would, you can stand or you can unmute yourself to give the clap, the sound of the clap. The Thank clap. you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Hrichi, for your wonderful evaluation. 
Thank Secondly, you so I will also love to congratulate. Sorry, Vasanti, did you have any, you have any more things to say? Jen, could you please repeat? I couldn't hear you. Oh, did you, did you have anything to add on? Did you have anything? To add on. Add on. I just want to thank for all of you to give me feedback and also for the speech slot. Thank you so much. That's all. Right. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, I'm sure the pleasure is ours to, to have the opportunity to listen to such amazing speech. So with that, also like congratulate our few first timer role players. First one, our Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie. Second one, our grammarian, Angie. And third one, our, our assistant sergeant and arm, Roshni. And also we got fourth one. Um, Kang Hui, it's not first time, I'm sure it's not the first time, but a very long time no ah counter person. So congratulations to all these people. And without them, without all the role players and evaluators tonight, we wouldn't have a such, we wouldn't have such amazing meeting. So with that, I would love some feedback from our guests. Uh, first, let us invite guests from other Toastmasters Club. May I invite Arnold to share your feelings of today's meeting? So yeah, today's meeting has been, I think it's a very unique meeting because it's a dual language meeting. So it's the first time I've been to a, a an English and both English and Chinese speaking, and yeah, to be to be able to see several speakers like we have, like the Aizat, uh, his ability to speak a uh, language from uh, from other culture, uh, I think is really amazing, and to all the evaluators as well, uh, very useful uh, feedback to learn from. Yeah. Yeah, I really, overall, I do really learn a lot from this meeting. With that, yeah, back to you. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, um, President Arnold. So after you mentioned Isaac, only I noticed, ah, just now when I thank um, other members from other clubs to join us, yeah, I forgot Isaac. Actually, I did not forget, you know, because I, because Isaac speaks Mandarin, it gives me the feelings of you are one of us already. Okay, so um, moving on, I would love to hear feedback from our first timer guest, Mimi Marcus. Would you like to share how you feel today? Yeah, thank you, President. Uh, well, this is the first time I'm joining this uh, Toastmaster meeting. And basically, I was Google on this uh, internet to see, to search around, uh, is there any academy or any, any, any course to, can I take up for public speaking? And eventually, I saw this uh, KBDC. So, happened a text uh, for inquiries, and then they invite me to this uh, uh, first time the Zoom meeting. So, uh, I see it's a very unique uh, approach and a unique club that encourage every one of us to con I mean, overcome the fears of uh, public speaking. And they taught us how to well prepare on a speech and then. Uh, uh, many more so of that. So um, basically, I'm looking forward for the next meeting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I am so glad that you enjoyed today's meeting and look forward to have you again in our meeting. With that, I'm aware of the time and I'm good to say thank you and passing back our control to Toastmaster of the evening, Natalie, for the award presentation. Over to you, Natalie. Okay, thank you, President Juan. Now for the award presentation. Okay, let me just share my screen. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Okay.
the best table topic speaker is Malati. Ooh. Right, I'm taking the picture. So, Malati, I'm taking a picture in three. Can you help me to take picture because I'm lagging, I cannot see Melati's for lighter. Wait, uh, let me take uh, Okay, Melati, three, two, one. Okay, done. Now let's. The best prepared speech speaker is Sarah. All right, I'll take the photo. Okay, Sarah, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, wait. Okay, baby. Ah. Why is it going? No. <laughs> The best evaluator is Hui Chi. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hui Chi, three, two, one. All right. All right. Done. <laughs> GE. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. One more time. Three, two, one. All right. Thanks, E. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think I'm supposed to choose for the best roles. Uh, the best role player as John told me. Uh, I'm not sure whether it got delivered. Um, I actually chose Alex to be the best roles, uh, role players for tonight because uh, as a table topic master. Yeah. Thank you so much. Back to you, Natalie. Natalie is editing. Mm. Let's give her a few seconds. Okay. Okay, I'll wait the I'll wait to take photo. Very well, while we are waiting, Alex, how do you feel when you when you get the best role player? Um a very touch. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's my second time actually. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. The table topic master was giving a table topic. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you wait. The slide okay. is done. Now for the best role layer in. Hold on, hold on. Okay, best role player. Right. 
Okay, Alex, it's not best to evaluate. Uh, it's a table topic. Oh, yeah. Here. The, the word <laughs> is... Alex, you are promoted. Yeah, two roles, different roles. <laughs> All right, I'll just take it later. Maybe just edit. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one. Okay, done. Thank you. Okay, I think we have come to the end of the meeting. Sorry for that. <laughs> I lost control. I hope you guys Thanks. enjoy tonight's meeting and this is the end of our meeting. Okay, so uh, the meeting adjourned now, and please give me two more seconds. I will have one announcement. So um, the announcement is on the 29th of August, um, we, we leave to the quotes, you only leave once. So we impromptuly plan a table topic marathon on 5 a.m. 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. It's a Sunday, so you have no excuse. If you would like to join, Please contact us. Yeah, with that, I call the meeting agent and I look forward to see you again. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. everyone. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thanks, Jen. Bye. 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 Bye.